Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze this overhanging beam. This is an overhanging beam of total length of 10 meter and there is a triangular load acting on one portion of the overhanging beam. And the magnitude of the maximum magnitude of the load is 3 kN per meter starting from this roller support and ends at the last end of the beam. So we are going to find out the support reactions and to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this beam. Let's consider this is support A and this is support B. And they have the support reactions acting in the upward direction. Let's suppose RA and RB. Now to find out these support reactions, we are going to simplify this upcoming load. This is a triangular load. So we want to convert this triangular load into a pointed load or concentrated load. So this is a triangle. So we will find the area of this triangle. If this is B and H, so we can find out the area of this triangle by this formula, half base into height. Similarly, we will find out the area of this triangle and it will be the pointed load for this beam. So the area will be equal to the pointed load and it is equal to the half base into height. So half base is 4 meter meter multiplying it with the height which is 3 kN per meter. Meter meter will be cancelled so pointed load will be equal to the 6 kN. So this is the total pointed or concentrated load acting at the centroid of this triangle. 6 kN. The first step was to convert the uniformly varying load into the pointed load or concentrated load by using the area of the triangle. Now the next step is to find out their support reactions. So we will take the summation of moment at point B equal to 0. The clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. Now this support RA reaction will create the moment in the clockwise direction about point B. So it will be taken as positive. So it will be RA multiplying it with the moment arm the moment arm is the distance from this point up to point B, which is 4 meter. And then again, this load creates a moment about point B in the clockwise direction as well. So it will be also taken as positive. And this load is 6 kN, multiplying it with the moment arm. So moment arm is the distance from this 6 kN up to point B. This is the moment arm. And this distance is we can find out by using let's suppose this is in a triangle and this is the the total length of the triangle L so this is the centroid of the triangle so this the distance from the from this end up to the centroid of the triangle will be two third of L while the distance from this end up to the middle of the centroid of the triangle will be one third of L so similarly from this end up to the centroid of the triangle, it is two-third of L. Two-third of L means two-third of four. Similarly here, it will be two-third of four. This is the moment arm for this pointed load. Summation of moment at point B equal to zero. These were all the moments about point B. Now, four RA is equal to minus six into, if you multiply this, 2.66. So, RA comes out to be if you multiply and divide this by 4, we got minus 16 4RA and RA is equal to minus 4 kN. So this is the support reactions RA. This negative sign shows that our assumed direction was wrong. So we have to invert this direction, the sign, so it will be acting in downward direction now equal to 4 kN. This negative, we assume at the start that these both support reactions are acting in the upward direction but we got negative sign. Now this negative sign means that we have to change the direction of this RA. So we change the direction of RA and we make it in opposite direction. So now it is 4 kN acting in the downward direction. How to find out the RB? Similarly, we can use this equation that summation of all the vertical force is equal to zero in order to find out the reaction RB. 
and let's consider that the upward force is taken as positive and the downward force is taken as negative. So the upward force is RB is taken as positive and downward force is RA and this is also downward force which is 6 kN summation of all the forces is equal to 0. So now RB will be equal to RA plus 6 kN. Or we can say RV is equal to 4 plus 6 because RA is 4 kN so RB comes out to be 10 kN. So RB equal to 10 kN. This is the way how to find out the support reactions. Now we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this overhanging beam. Let's consider these are the reference lines. And this is for the shear force diagram. And this is for the bending moment diagram. So this is for the shear force diagram in the unit of kilonewton. And this is bending moment diagram in the unit of kilonewton meter. Now to start with the shear force diagram, we know that there is no load acting on this portion of the beam on 2 meter length, so it will be 0, 0. This is zero, 0, reference line, so it will be a straight line with a magnitude of 0. Then there is a downward force of 4 kN, so we will bring this up to the 4 kN here, so this is 4 kN. Then there is no load on the beam, so it will be again straight line. And then there is a reaction upward acting in the upper direction of 10 kN. So 4 is acting in the downward direction, it was negative, and now RB is acting in the upper direction, so minus 4 plus 10, we got plus 6. So we will bring this up to plus 6. Now there is again load of 6 kN acting in the downward direction. So plus 6 was before in the upper direction and this is 6 acting in the downward direction. So it will be minus 6, so we got 0. So it means we can join these line like this way because it will bring the shear force to 0. This was plus 6 and it was acting in the downward direction 6. So it makes the shear force 0. So this is the plus shear box and this is negative shear box. Now with the help of these shear boxes, we will find out the area of these shear boxes and we'll draw the bending moment diagram. So there is zero shear force. Similarly, there will be zero bending moment. Now this shear box has a height of 4 and has a length of 4 meter. There is a 4 meter. And this is also 4 meter. So this is a rectangle. 4 meter is the height and 4 meter is the length. So we can find the area of this box which is equal to the minus 4 into 4. Minus 4 is the height, 4 meter is the length. So we got minus 16. So minus 16 is the bending moment value at this point. Minus 16 kilonewton meter. Now is we know that there, there is a shortcut way to find out the moment now at this point. We know that there is no fixed support at this point of the beam. So we can say that moment cannot be resisted here at this end of the beam. So we can easily draw the line from this point and draw it like this up and join it to the 16. Because we know that there is no fixed support at this portion of the beam. So the bending moment value will always be zero at this point. So we simply draw the line from minus 16 and bring it to the zero. It should be kept in mind when there is no fixed support. So the bending moment value will always be equal to zero. That's why we make it zero here. So this is the negative bending moment. And the maximum bending moment is minus 16 kilonewton meter. Hope you guys understand how to draw the shear force in bending moment diagram when you have the triangular load. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for DD7 engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.